happened. It finally happened. Oh my gosh, I have been waiting for this thing for so long, so, so long. Ever since it was revealed, the 2020 sets were revealed, this is the one I wanted the most. Although the minifigures are not great, and this is definitely not that great, and this isn't enclosed, it is still not only one of my favorite Harry Potter sets of all time, but probably one of my favorite Lego sets of all time. I never got the original Burrow, and that was one of the sets. I never have gotten any of the original Harry Potter sets from 2001 to 2011, although I really wanted them, and I just never got around to it. But then, 2018 introduced new Harry Potter sets, and I com just completely forgot about them. Now that I am older, I have found new ways to um, get old Lego sets than back then. Back then, I just looked on Amazon, and they were like brand new sealed boxes and were hundreds of dollars. But now I know what Bricklink is, and I know how to find that very good deal. Um, but anyways, that's besides the point. Hopefully, I will review and get some old Harry Potter sets sometime soon. But as for now, I'm sticking to the new reboot theme because honestly, it is pretty good. It is pretty good. But anyways, let's start with the minifigures. Take a look at this and then take a look at the burrow itself. So this is your common Harry from this new wave. Um, he appears in two sets, although that doesn't seem like very, very common. It is the most common out of all these. He not only comes in this burrow here, but he also comes in um, Forbidden Forest, Umbridge's un Encounter. Um, and then you have some other variations of Harry in the other sets from this new wave. But this is your most common one. And um, being the most common also means he's the most boring. Um, you have hair, this hair here, not exclusive or anything. This face, which has been used for quite a few sets now, actually. It was used in the last wave as well. I think it's for, like, um, year three and on now. And, as you can see, there's the second face he's got. So. Oh, well. He's got a little... Looks like that's permanent. Oh, well. Um, but anyways, he has his second angry face there. There's a better look at the scar. The problem with this, using this hairpiece, even though it's very, very accurate, um, you can't see the scar. Like, you can barely see the end of it, but you can't really see his scar. You have this jacket, which is okay, although it's not very accurate, but we are getting a more accurate one in the series 2 of Harry Potter, which is kind of funny to me. Um, I know that they like to have exclusive prints and pieces and that, but still, why not just include it in these sets? Um, anyways, uh, you have these dark blue legs here as well. Pretty generic minifigure. This is based on the Half-Blood Prince. Here is Ron Weasley. Um, this minifigure is the only one that... Um, is the only version of him, I should say. This is the only version of this minifigure of Ron. But it is a very, very generic one. Um, if you do not have this set you can still, um, make this minifigure. Now, you have pretty, um, um, common black legs. This, um, I think only came out in Hagrid's Hut, if I'm not mistaken. This came out in quite a few sets now, and this hairpiece is, um, not just exclusive to this minifigure. In fact, it was used, um, in the 2010-2011 Harry Potter sets. Plus, different minifigures besides Ron himself. But anyways, you also have a second face here. So yeah, it's a pretty generic Ron, but um, I really like it. 
and it really reminds me of the old sets with that hair piece. Anyways, that's Braun. And from this minifigure on, um, all these minifigures are exclusive to this set, like the characters. Um, as of now, some of these characters will be in the new Diagon Alley, um, but not these outfits. But as for characters-wise, all the rest of these minifigures are exclusive to this set. But Molly and Ginny will be in the new Diagon Alley, and Bellatrix will be in the um, CMF series too. But they will be different outfits. But anyways, um, although these are new and exclusive um, minifigures, uh, they're not good. I mean, you know, they are good. I take that back. They are good, but they are not great. Harry and Ron have new prints, new everything. They're nice. Here, um, at first, I thought using, um, I think her name is Kira from Solo. I thought using that piece looks so bad. And even now, I don't think that it looks good. In fact, I would prefer that they still use the one that came in the original. That minifigure is actually much better than this one, in my opinion. The reuse of this face is okay. Honestly, it really fits. Um, this face here um, really reminds me of when she um, kills Bellatrix. Um... Anyways, she also has another face, and this is a reuse of a face, if you did not know. It was also um, with Helga Hufflepuff in the D2C, like, huge micro-scale Hogwarts. No printing on her dress, which is really disappointing, and her torso is okay. Um, there's printing on both the front and the back. Um, and I wanted to show you something really quick. So I had this um, hidden sight set for quite a while. It was a cemetery. I think I got it like last year when it came out. And I just, I built the first bag, but I never built the second. And I just did a little while ago while I was really bored. And I found this. Now tell me this doesn't look, it doesn't look perfect. But tell me this doesn't look like something Molly would wear doesn't it? It does look, um, masculine, if you will, um, because it was for a male minifigure, and you don't have the, um, I don't know what you'd like to call it, indents on these, um, female minifigures, but still, it looks pretty good. I don't know if she ever wears overalls, per se, but I just thought it looked kind of nice, and it has much better printing than this, um, but anyways, actually, let me try something, maybe she never wore overalls, but, maybe, let's see how this looks, no, okay, this looks bad, this looks really bad, <laughs> I thought it would look good, but, oops, it looks pretty bad, <laughs> okay, yeah, that does not look good, oops, anyways, okay, I thought that would look good, but it didn't. Oh well. I guess this is just what we have to deal with. And honestly, it's not that horrible of a minifigure. It's not. I just wish that Lego, um, I know that they could have done better, and I wish that they did. Next up is Arthur Weasley. This minifigure is pretty good. Um, there's just a few problems with him. Um, the torso is really nice. As you can see, the printing on it is really, really nice. And the hair piece is seen from the original version of him. It's the face that really bothers me. Because if you look, once I turn it around... Tell me, I know that it's Ron's father and everything, but that looks like Ron. I mean, that looks too much like Ron. It He doesn't have enough wrinkles. He has to have more wrinkles. The original face is so good. It is so good. Honestly, I wish that they just gave the same exact face. I wouldn't even care. It looks so much better than this. There's not enough wrinkles. Um, I wish he had a bigger smile <laughs> like he did in the original. And if you were wondering, here is his other face, which fits um, 
still, I wish there was more wrinkles. If you look at Molly, there is a bunch of wrinkles, and that fits. It looks like Molly, because there's wrinkles. The wrinkles make the minifigure seem older, and this just doesn't really feel like he's that old, but it is what it is. Anyways, that is Arthur. Next up, we have Ginny Weasley. Okay. Um, why the reuse? Why, why, why? I don't understand the reuse of the face. Um, I don't remember her name. I'm sorry, but, um, the girl from Jurassic World, um, has the same face print. So this is a reuse of a face print. And it does not look good. She never has this smirk. She never does. Um, I think the main reason why they gave her this face was because of this. Um, the scared face, which kind of fits. Um, but still, this just doesn't... A, it doesn't even look like her. Just the way it looks doesn't look like her. And B, the face she's making here does not look like her at all. Um, same hair piece from the original version of Ginny. Um, and this outfit she has is not, um, accurate to the scene, but I guess they didn't want to put her in a, um, robe, I guess. Um, I don't know, she probably does wear this at some point, I don't exactly remember when, but, yeah, that's Ginny. So, here is Nymphadora Tonks. Now, she is not only, this is not only the first time that we're getting her in this reboot theme. This is the first time we're getting her ever, ever, in any theme, I mean, sorry, in any wave, any year, we've never gotten Nymphadora Tonks before. And this is our very first time. And for being the very first time, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Um, I hope we get to see another, because, um, I want to see a different outfit than this, and I really want to see the pink hair. I really do. Um, and it would also be cool <laughs> to have, um, a second face with the duck bill. I know that that probably won't happen, but still, I thought that that would be super cool. Um, but yeah... Now, I may be wrong, but I believe that this is the first time we're ever getting this face print. I don't know for sure. It may be a reuse, but I do not believe it is, but I'm not quite sure. Um, but anyways, there is another face, of course. This face is a more angry expression. And the torso is quite nice. No leg printing, unfortunately. But yeah, that is Nymphadora Tonks. Here she is. Bellatrix Lestrange. Um, it's okay. It's an okay minifigure. Once again, same with Molly. I wish that there was printing on the dress. I really, really was. Really quick while we're here. Here's a, t a look at the second face. Along with the back printing. Um, these faces do not fit Bellatrix. I guess the yelling one kind of does. I'll admit that, but the first face print does not fit her at all. I mean, whenever is she having this little of a smile? Never. She's always maniacally laughing. We... Okay. I need to calm down, but this is not a good face print. Um, I'm super disappointed with this minifigure. Thankfully, we are getting, um, another Bellatrix who looks much, much better. But even then, there's not a face print like the original where she's laughing and it just looks so great. Um, I'll admit that this minifigure is not bad or anything. It's just okay. Um, the hair piece is the exact same from the original set. And if you're wondering, um, the face print that it was used from, um... Like Ginny, I forgot the name, but it was from Guardians of the Galaxy, the, like, weird alien lady or something. She has, like, antennas or whatever. That was what this face print was originally 
from, and they decided to reuse it here, which is whatever. And, I don't know about you, but in my opinion, this is the best figure of this entire set. Um, of course, we ha we ha there's no way that they wouldn't give him a new face print. Um, but, this minifigure looks quite nice. Um, he really does, I really like him. I have to say, my least favorite part about him is his hair. Um, I do not think it should be black, I really think it should be dark brown. Um, the, uh, like the original. The original, it, it just looks much better, it looks kinda odd that it's all black. His, like, entire outfit, it just, it looks kinda odd. Um, I know that Bellatrix is all black, um, like her entire outfit, but that's just, it fits, you know? I don't know why, but here, just having it completely all black is just kind of odd to me. But so, this is definitely the best figure. Um, if you are wondering, no, these um, legs are not new. Um, but, but um, they do fit here. Um, they do really fit. So, this, okay, so they made the torso so that it would fit these legs, but these legs are not exclusive. Um, I wonder, I think... No, I think they were first used on, like, Darth Vader or something, I think, and then they were brought over to uh, the Harry Potter line. Um, there's a bit of back printing, not really all that interesting, and he does have a second face right there. Um, but anyways, this is a really great minifigure, and definitely my favorite of this entire set. It just, he looks so good. Okay, so now on to this little build. It's bad. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. I didn't want to say any of the minifigures were bad, but this is just bad. The fire pieces are cool. I really like these. I don't know if they're new to this set, but they do look really cool with the black on top. Um, but anyways, what is this? What, why this plate? Why this? Um, I don't know if you guys are interested, but I'm thinking about making, um... Uh, video, um, I don't know if you guys are interested, but I'm thinking about making a mock, fixing this set, um, most importantly, fixing this, making it look like it actually is on the ground, not on whatever this is supposed to be, but, anyways, that's besides the point, I'll be, like, fixing the minifigures and stuff, I may do that. I may not. I don't know. But what this is supposed to be is so that you can have, like, Bellatrix and Greyback over here. And you can have Harry jumping through because he's really mad at Be Bellatrix. Spoiler alert! Because she killed um, the really only family he had left, Sirius Black. So what you can do is you can have him jump over it by putting these down, and you can, boom, you know, boom, bam, <laughs> um, and you can have Jenny chasing after him, um, it's whatever, it's a cool build, um, what am I saying, no, it's not a cool build, it's a cool feature, this build is horrible, but the feature is interesting and nice, I just wish that they made it look better, um, I don't think they exist, but it would have been cool if they made new pieces, um, like translucent, orange for these pieces here instead of just um plain black um but anyways that's that little build okay so now we are going to be looking at the burrow itself okay so let's start here at the front door um this looks really really nice i really like how this was done how it goes up like that it looks really really nice you have a door here and everything all these windows these are all stickers by the way um as you go over here you have a little pig pen once again these nice stickers and roof going up like that um i don't think these are exclusive but you have these um light green um pieces of those plants pieces um you also have a red bucket here and a cool new pig. Um, I don't believe this is exclusive to the set, but still, I want to show you this amazing pig. Um, I'm not going to spoil exactly what it is yet, but I really wanted that pig for something I am working on that you will see hopefully sometime soon. And it is a Disney show. 
Um, anyways, here is the look at the back. You have another window here. This, which is something I will be showing you um, later. And now we get to look at the inside. So let's start with this table here. You have a table and some chairs. You got a yellow, brown, brown, green, um, white, and blue on the table. You have some eggs and some waffles, some cups and stuff. You have a sink over here, some bottles and jars. A little picture here. Oops, this came off. Um, these plant pieces that were introduced. Hold on, let's get this back. These plant pieces that were introduced in the first Harry Potter series now are here in a olive brown. I mean, sorry, not olive. Olive green, maybe sand green. I don't know exactly what the color is called. But um, here we have. I don't know the exact name of this, but um, you can see this when Harry first comes to the burrow, and when we first see the burrow in the movies. This is like the clock or whatever that um, allows Molly to know where her children are. And I want to see if you can see this. Come on. Let's see. Um, there we go. It says, one of them says, home, lost. Um, what do the others say? Quidditch? I think that's what it says work so i guess work means that arthur is on that too i guess i didn't know that i thought it was just the children but since it says work i'm guessing um arthur is on that um something that's kind of hard is to put it back in but it can be done let me show you how i do it like put it like this and then eh, it's kind of hard just gonna need to kind of mess with it a little bit i cannot get it in there usually can get it in there after a while or maybe you have to go like this no you have to go like that and then you have to push it up and it's, yeah it's kind of hard but anyways let's turn over let me get this back in focus there we go now um you can open this and as you can see this piece here goes in there so that it closes i thought that was really cool i never thought about using that before and, um, I'm gonna use that in some mocks. Um, anyways, you have, um, a fireplace here, which, um, you may recognize. Um, flu powder. We have a little jar of flu powder there. A letter, um, some logs, and I guess a bookshelf. Um, over here, I believe this couch is from the scene um, when Harry and Ginny are like talking or whatever and then Ron interrupts or something like that. You have some candles, flower, bottle, and a lamp, um, some chairs, and this nice couch here. Back over to this side, um, remember that knob I was showing you right there? Um, let me open this back up. Well, if you turn that and look at that fireplace, you can change the color of the fire. Um, you should recall um, when they, um, I guess you could say, travel, yeah, travel through flu powder. Um, you take this, you say where you want to go, and then you throw it down, and it goes from orange to green, and the person magically disappears. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, something that I really wish they still incorporated from the original one is how the original, you could actually fit, oops, you could actually fit a minifigure inside and when you turn it, they would actually disappear, like, you know, go around. Um, but it would have been, it would just have been too big. This is definitely smaller from the original and a minifigure cannot fit. As you can see, they're just too big, but still... Um, I'm glad with what they gave us. I'm okay with not, um, not having that feature. But anyways, let's turn back around to this side. And let's take a look at Jenny's bedroom here. It's kind of dark. Um, I'm actually going to try to get a light really quick. So I have a flashlight here. Um, hopefully you can see in there a little bit better. But we have, um, a bed. 
um, a chair here, a mirror on the wall, a brush, a broom up there, and it's going to be kind of hard to see, but there's a poster up there that says Wizard Sisters. I will try to take it out in a minute, but I don't, you could kind of see it there. Um, it's a stickered piece. Um, I am going to bring the camera up a little bit. Okay, so now you can see um, the third story here. So as I'm trying to bring in my flashlight, you can see... Oh, it fell out. But um, back there... Hold on, I'm going to need to take this out really quick. Um, back here is a ball of yarn that you can put inside of this basket. And this is really cool. Um, you can see... Um, the self-knitting thing. I don't know if that's supposed to be a sweater or a scarf or something. I'm guessing a sweater has a W on it. And those are wand pieces there. Supposed to be, um, I don't know what you call it. I don't know knitting too well, but whatever you use to knit. Um, and back there, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the, um, poster or postcard, I think is what it was, of... Um, when they went to Egypt, I think it was Egypt that they went to. I'll try to take that out, like I said, with the Wizard Sisters in a minute. But here we also have a bed. And now let's bring this even higher up. Enough so we can see this last floor here. Um, this is Ron's room. You have some steps leaning up to up here. Here's his bed, and they also have a poster back there. And up here we have the family's owl, or maybe, it's, I think it's just Ron's owl, actually, now that I think about it. Who always, like, flies into windows and stuff. And the new Hedwig with his, hold on, let me get it to focus. It's not really focusing. It's wanting to focus on the background. There we go. So here is the new Hedwig piece with his wings out. Really cool new piece. And don't worry, he is not, oops, he is not exclusive to this set. He appears in like all of the new sets. If I'm not mistaken, like all, like literally all of them. Even the little, I think the cheapest way to get him is the tiny little poly bag. I have no idea where he fell. Oh, there he is. Okay, so now we can put it back up here. Just a little bit of room there so you can fit them. Here we have a broom in this nice little, uh, what would you call it? Um, I'm trying to think of the name. Balcony. Balcony. You have this nice little balcony here. Let's get um, Harry to look out of uh, the balcony. So you could just put like a minifigure up here and have them looking out. That looks pretty cool. Um, obviously, they paid a lot of attention. When it comes to detail, they paid a lot of attention to the outside of the burrow more than the inside. But even the inside has a whole bunch of different nice details. But it's just, it really looks nice on the outside. It really, really does. That was one of the reasons why I wanted this. Because although the inside is cool, I have these on display. And although I will do like stop motion and stuff, I'm not going to film in these tiny rooms i'm gonna make my own sets but still this outside is so good not only for display but for my stop motions it's just it looks so nice one of the reasons why i just absolutely love this set it looks so so nice and if you look here they have this cool little um way to slant this as you can see it's really cool but anyways, that's it. You got some windows here and stuff. But yeah, that's it. I don't know if I showed you it exactly, but there's also a little chimney up there. So yeah, that is the set. Now I think we are done. So that was Attack on the Burrow. Really, really amazing set. Let's take a look at the instructions really quick. 
So here are the instructions, really, really huge. I would show you on the what's on the box, but it's just, it's so big. It's really so big. Even this hardly fits on the camera. But anyways, you got your pieces and everything. And here are the advertisements for the other sets. Um, I will be reviewing these. Um, look at that. Oh, let me just show you. They say limited availability. Don't get worried though, because I don't think it's as limited as you may think. Um, I think it's just going to be more limited than it was before. Like, if you don't get it by the end of this year, they may not be anymore. I think that's what it probably means. Because, um, you know, the rest of the Harry Potter sets have been um, going on for like all. They've been out like for a whole year, but these may be out just for um, now until the end of 2020. Um, but I have Privet Drive, I mean, sorry, what I mean, I have, here's Privet Drive here, um, probably my second favorite of this, um, wave. Forbidden Forest, in my opinion, maybe the least favorite of mine. Um, here is the Ruin Requirement, and the other big set of this wave, um, the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower. Um... Now, whether or not you should expect to see reviews on the other sets soon, um, yeah, yeah, chances are you're gonna see some reviews <laughs> on the other sets soon, believe me. Um, honestly though, it may just be this and Forbidden Forest, um, and I, th I don't think I'll be getting the Astronomy Tower and, um, what was the other, um, private drive until probably, probably get them Christmas. So unfortunately, um, don't expect to see reviews on those until Christmas, but expect to see, um, videos on this, um, the Forbidden Forest and the minifigure series. Um, do expect to see a video on Diagon Alley, but not anytime soon. That is going to be a long time away before I can finally get that. But, um, anyways... That is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.